7. Breath of the Wild glitches you may have missed. So Breath of the Wild is not the most stable game sometimes. And while most people have heard about the super crazy game shattering glitches, there are plenty more that fly right under the radar. So today we're going to be taking a look at 7 crazy glitches that you may not know. Let's jump right in. Starting off with our first glitch. Ragdolls are definitely a common sight throughout the game, and some of them can get pretty crazy. I mean, I've rolled all the way down entire mountains a fair few times. But if you head to this Korok Seed spot next to Satori Mountain, dying inside this hole will do some pretty cursed things. And elemental damage makes it even weirder looking, I mean, that definitely doesn't look like fun. On to number 2. You might have known that if you disarm moblins and steal their weapon, they may actually throw nearby bokoblins at you. And if you happen to freeze the bokoblin after it hits the ground, it'll start T-posing. And when it thaws, this happens. Uh, he does not look okay. Apparently you can disarm him too and he just summons it back. Like and sub to save the Bokoblin. Just kidding. I regret nothing. Next up is number 3. You might have messed around with stasis launching boxes, but one big weakness is that you have to wait for the cooldown to reset, and by then you've already hit the ground. Unless, of course, you pause and look at a memory mid-air. Then, after it's over, the cooldown's actually refreshed. And you still might fly off sometimes, but hey, now you save the box from falling to its death. Number 4. Now this one's actually pretty cool. If you use a flame blade, then drop it mid-swing. It'll keep using its powers to burn the world down. But it actually can come in useful for relighting campfires instantly. And this also works for Thunderblades, just don't drop anything metal nearby, or you won't be happy. Interestingly enough, if you do this glitch with both, and then drop Choo Choo Jelly in between them, it makes this weird elemental explosion that can actually trap enemies. Neat. Number 5. Guardians are not exactly the friendliest creatures, but if you use Urbosa's Fury on a Guardian and then use Stasis right after, it will become passive, and then you can stand in front of it all you want and even hit it. It will not care. 90% of the time. Number 6. If you've messed with Breath of the Wild's glitches, you probably tried wind bombing. It's a great way to fly over Hyrule, but the one issue is that you need a platform to jump off of and get bullet time, which means that you can't always do it anywhere. However, you can actually get bullet time by jumping over the back wheel of the Master Cycle, which makes it a lot easier to line up that perfect launch. Before we finish on number 7, we are trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before Tears of the Kingdom, and this channel's really starting to go up. So make sure to subscribe if you want to be an OG, because I'm taking this channel to the top. But anyway, on to number 7. You might have seen shield clipping before, and a lot of people have used it to get through shrines or to escape the Trial of the Sword entirely, but this glitch can also have a secret use. If you head to Hyrule Castle and fly to the roof above the Sanctum, you can shield surf and then turn around midair like this to get a perfectly vertical skew. And that means shield surfing gives you a big jump for instant bullet time at any point. And combining it with a powerful bow makes for some crazy combos. Just check this one out. But with that, let me know in the comments what your favorite glitch from today's video was, and as always, thanks for watching.